field trip to the Stingray Migration. Stingray Migration. Migration is about going home, home, which is where you're from. Where you're from. 回味十三年的海底总动员回来了。这次故事以迷糊健忘的小蓝雕多利为主轴，在红鱼雷老师的校外教学，看到红鱼的集体回游时，什么都想不起来的多利突然灵光乍现，回忆起与父母分离的过往情景，凭着仅存的少数记忆，在小丑鱼尼莫和爸爸马林的陪伴下，展开一场赴加州海岸潜入。海参馆的冒险寻根之旅。I miss them. You know what that feels like? Yes. Then we better get going. 一样是由安德鲁·斯坦顿指导。他谈到了十三年后再度推出续集，是在六七年前看到三 D 版的《海底总动员》时，让他开始对多莉感到担心。Felt she still had a hole inside her. She didn't know where she was from. She was apologizing still for her shortcoming that she thought she had of her short-term memory loss, and she could easily forget Marlon and Nemo and not find them again. I, I felt like that's just she's completely unresolved. Where did you go? You were the one to go. My parents. I remember them. Yes. 脱口秀主持人艾伦迪·珍妮斯再度回归为多利配音。他说到，电影也涉及到许多关于海洋污染的问题。There's like there's you know there's giant you know trash fields the size of like a you know a city and floating in the ocean. So yeah, we have to be really careful. 这部片除了以海底动物的视角看待海洋污染之外，也对被人类圈养的水族馆动物处境有所琢磨。而除了第一集的角色都回国之外，这次还多了许多全。新的伙伴，像是脾气不好的章鱼汉克，近视眼的金沙 Destiny， 以及小白鲸等。Not a great swimmer. 多利是否能顺利找到他的家人呢？也许要和这群海洋生物们一起探险才会知道了。